tutorial about uh, fixing things. We are actually, uh, we've made some tutorials about this NVIDIA GeForce GTX 970, how to install it, where to find the drivers, what it do to do when it's broken. There is this uh, TTY that you can use to, well, delete the uh, driver that was wrong and back be back on your system. But um, there is also another way, and this is the hardware we're working on. So it's an Asus P8, Z77 and so on. The Nouveau driver is working, as you can see more or less in the middle there. And we have a GeForce GTX 970. Now I'm gonna break my system because I want to show you there's another way and that's going via the Arch Linux ISO. So I've burned my ISO on a small USB. It's in here, it's from Arch Linux burn it with minstick where is minstick quick check here so down up here accessories up down here usb image writer and then you write your image zoom and focus my friend so you tell hey here's the iso pop it in here is usb pop it in write done very very easy so you have this fallback iso from arch linux always works fine so I'm breaking my system is easy. <laughs> it's actually just installing the wrong drivers. sudo pacman minus s if it's not focused and I'm telling it anyway so you can hear what I'm typing. sudo pacman minus s. Come on, focus. Big S Eric. Whoa, what's that? Big S. And then Nvidia is the correct one. So this is the correct application that I should install with a GeForce GTX 970 but I am stubborn and I say I'm gonna try the other one and there are other ones so there's this 340 which is going to break my system that's what I want to have because I want to make a tutorial to overcome breakage what if your system breaks what do you do then that's one way in the previous tutorial and I'll make a second way to fix it now Rebooting, breaking my system, having this nearby, in the desk, in the drawer, anywhere really, just have it around just in case. Now what do you do then? You wait till everything breaks. Fail to start light display manager, it broke, it's now waiting to do things, it will keep going for a while and then you can be patient I'm not the patient kind of guy and I say okay this is not going to be right it's hanging nothing happens you might still have some hope at some point in time but at some point you have to admit this will not work so what do you do hard reboot I press the button from my PC, shut down, popping it in here, booting back up, pressing F8 and that's a button you should look out for. I mean, every hardware is different, every company has a different keyboard shortcut to get into BIOS or UFI or the setup. Anyway, mine is F8 and this is a nice overview what I have. I have P5, Samsung, and there is a UFI on the P5 and we have also a P5 again and then 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 we have our USBs so this one is interesting and this one is interesting so we either want BIOS that's this one or you want UFI since I have a newer uh, machine here it's it needs to be UFI and the difference is the boot screen check out Arch Linux D the archway, you will see that the boot screen is completely different. So UFI is this one. Let's say, uh, as a matter of speaking, if you don't, go, if you're not going to go and check out the image, bias is colored, has this nice logo of Arch, and this one has no logo at all. So that's the one. You mean? You see what I mean? It's no logo. It's not colored. It's not nice, but it gets the job done. So we're booting Arch Linux the UFI way. So if you 
are going to check out Arco Linux. That's what you need to look for, UEFI. That's what we're doing right now. And we have this system to fix any computer. Your arch is never broken. If you notice, you can always come, come in here and fix things that you did and say, okay, I know what I did last. I did this and this and that. So I'm gonna um, try and fix it again. There is this start job here. I don't know why it's taking so long, but it's asking the DHCP server to give a IP address. So this is normal if you watched already some of the videos of the Archway to install Arch Linux the Archway, then it wants, well, you to do, to do things, type things. So I'll have to investigate in my system and LS block will do that, list my block. And it shows me that I have SDAB, SDB, forget about it, USB. It has an SDA, SDA1 is very small, 300 megabytes, meaning it's going to be the UFI to boot from. No, that's not it. SDA2 is my big partition, so that's my home. Well, my, my root, my home, my, my everything, everything is on one partition. And SDA3 is my swap. So this means I have to mount SDA2 and that's the command we need to do. So mount, oh yeah, I have uh, a QWERTY and I don't have a QWERTY keyboard. So I'd have to do something more than you guys maybe. So load my keys, please. Load keys, be dash latin and a one okay that's it and i have now azerti right okay so mount something what is the something the something is my device which device sda with a number yes with number two so that's the the big one fine then we mount this and where do we mount this in mount in a uh, folder mount. I did a typo, did I? No such file. Oh yeah, there is a space needed in between there. So device, mount the device as the two in mount. Done. And this is the powerful command. Arch root. So arch change the root. Go from this place we're here now to the mount. And then we are actually on our system. Ta-da! Proof, we are on Arco Linux. And now I undo what I did. We are already sudo, we are already root, so no sudo for us now. But we need to have Pacman, and we tell to Pacman, hey Pacman, sorry, my mistake, wrong driver, get rid of this Nvidia thing. Okay, sudo Pacman minus R Nvidia 340XX. Okay, come on, focused, right, done. And then we uninstall it. I have one minute and a half. And then I should be up and running. So to save me some time, I'm gonna shut really down. No, I'm not gonna do that properly, Eric. So exit, that's it. And then unmount, I just have to type a little bit quicker. Minus A, unmount minus A, and then we can type reboot. That's quickly. <laughs> One minute to boot, one minute to film, that's it. Otherwise, I have this limit of 10 minutes for a video. And that's my grub. Click. All right, he's gone. And then all these are ACPI stuff. Don't bother with it. One, two, three, four, five, action. And we're back in our system. And maybe 30 seconds for a control or T, NC, dash B. And we can investigate again that we have driver nouveau. All right, cheers.